Oh. There's no crafting building in Draenor. In RuneScape 2, or old school RuneScape, I guess. Huh. Well, consider me shook. I was, I was ready to craft. Sandwiches. All right, we got to get this right this time. A kebab. I know what a kebab is. I know what a kebab looks like. This is a kebab. It is not a bun. It is not a roll. It is a kebab. We did it. We understood the assignment. Nature spirit, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah. Didn't record any of that. Level 30 farming. That's incredibly rude. I did nature spirit so I could do fairy tale. Oh, it's a recommendation. Oh, I should look this up. Why is it a recommendation? Okay, level 30 farming isn't the issue. What is the issue is that apparently iron men should get jungle potion done first to obtain proboscis, which I assume means I also have to do that really shit mini game. Uh, oh my god, Critigri, just find the damn herb. It's been two minutes. <laughs> Why are you so bad at this? Jungle potion, by the way. I'm sorry about this. I love unicorns, but I need anti-poison. I'm so sorry. Woo! Making Mountain Dew. I'm doing it. I'm doing Taibo One I clean up. Look at me. I'm doing the thing that every time I look at how to do, I get fucking scared off because the wiki page is like, look at all of this shit you've got to learn. It's actually fairly simple so far, but still. I don't quite understand the narrative behind this game. This tribesman just jumped out of a bush and started attacking me. Is he a rival tribesman from another clan or some shit? Because half of the people in this village also want to kill me. It's kind of weird. Right, this is what I need. This is what I need for fairy tale. I don't remember this being a thing. I don't know how much I need for fairy tale, but I need it apparently. Okay, so I've looked into it. It's like a, a, a random list of items you might need at some point during the quest, or you might not. It's a little bit like one of those fucking Prif Dinners quests in that regard. I don't remember any of this. I'm looking at the wiki page for Fairy Tale 1. I remember none of this. Either way, we don't really need to hang around and do this stupid, awful minigame anymore. So let's go see what my favor can get us and get the hell out of here. Ow. This guy should fuck off and despawn already. He's bullying me. I have to go talk to five gardeners? All right, this isn't gonna be a, ooh, fairy, fairy tale completed, by the way, because I don't think I've done this quest in years. I remember nothing about this. Oh my god, 3,500 farming experience. Damn, I just realized that's gonna ruin. I was kind of hoping to hit a thousand total level without having a single farming level, but it's it's probably fun to just kickstart my farming levels this way. Aha! I needed the proboscis. The proboscis. I needed it. I need a blue dragon scale. Fuck. Okay, so for the irrit leaf, I even need to get 40 herb lore or go all the way here, which probably isn't that bad, to be honest. Oh, I could get a fairy ring. Fuck off. I don't think I've ever been here in my entire life. This place is pretty cool. Yes. There we go. Now all I need is a blue dragon scale, which I guess I'm going to try and fucking thieve from under a... I can't get a good camera angle. From under a blue dragon's claws. Anti-dragon shield. Seems like a given. I killed Elvarg, damn it. How scary can these dragons be? I'm gonna need a rusty key. Do I have a rusty key? I probably don't have a rusty key. Ah! Wait, I'm pretty high agility, but not high enough. Never high enough. Never high enough. I'm saving all my run energy for right here. Where there are demons and dragons. I am afraid. I am very, very afraid. Fucking go, 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 Don't tell me I need to use the jail key. What? What? Oh, my inventory was full. He just dropped the dusty key on the floor. Oh, cool. That was a waste of my goddamn time. There we go. Got the goddamn key. We run. We grab people in chat. We telegrab this blue dragon scale over here. Oh, shit. I don't have any fucking room in my inventory. Fucking just grab it. Just grab it. We'll be fine. We got this. That was easy peasy. Easy peasy. Hell yeah, dude. We got 
Magic Secateurs, dude. All right, Tanglefoot, you big bozo. I'm here to take you out with my Magic Secateurs and my farming level of one. Does this mean I'm just going to be hitting one C the entire time? Okay, thank God. Rip Bozo! Rip Bozo! Hell yeah, Rip Bozo! God, I'm being attacked. Run! 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 Woohoo! Fairy Tale 1, Growing Pains, complete! I now have a farming level of 18! <laughs> I no longer have anything at level 1. I also am very close to not having anything below level 10, so I should probably work on Hunter, but ugh. Alright, what do I need for Fairy Tale 2? Because there's a reason I'm doing this. And it ain't for the Fairy Queen, let me tell you that much. I want Fairy Rings. That's not gonna happen for a while. I'm being fucking followed. Why do I resort to violence so often? Because that's what the Gower brothers intended, okay? Don't judge me. Hey, here's a fun fact. You know my Adventures in Gillanor series, which is in the 20s now in terms of episode numbers? That hasn't done Fairy Tale 1. <laughs> I just haven't got around to it. Ow! Poggers! Poggers! We got two useful, useless things, Poggers! Pog I, look at me, I'm doing clue scrolls, Poggers! Now look, I know that I should be doing Shadow of a Storm to get my range level up, but I need to do the Golem first, and that quest has a lot of item requirements, and I've just spent a long time today doing quests. So I'm just gonna fucking shoot crabs, I don't care. I used to- <laughs> What? Nani? Is Country Jig actually making me lose my mind or did he just fucking teleport? Wait, he's got full health now! Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the way XP is given in this game, it's all the fucking same. Alright, Kritigri, you fight crabs, I'm gonna go wash the dishes. Kritigri, you've been busy! Let's have a look. How busy have you been? You are range level 19 and you are almost range level 20. You have been a busy boy. Okay, I went and I trained my ranged up to level 20. Level 30, because I was AFKing and playing Dragon Quest 7 and I got carried away. Hooray, I got, um, purple sweets. That's a thing, isn't it? That's stackable food. Oh my god, they use so much money. Holy shit. Sorry, this is my first time doing Blast Furnace. I knew I'd have to pay the foreman 2.5k to use this for 10 minutes, because I'm low level. I didn't know you also had to pay the workers. And I, I, I was like, I don't know, I'll give them 2k? That sounds reasonable. And according to this fucking tooltip at the top left here, I've done like two inventories and it's already almost dry and I have no fucking run energy. Oh my god, this sucks. Yeah, this place fucking burns money. I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna have to use twice as much coal. What an annoying game mechanic. Okay, now don't get me wrong. It's a brand new day and I want to spend it AFKing skills while I play Dragon Quest Seven, my one true love. But, um... I, hey, if you're not aware, that's what I've been doing a lot of the time. It just doesn't get recorded, obviously. Uh, but I can't spend another goddamn second in these caves, so let's go sand crabs. Also, I've been watching Settled's uh, Tileman series, and that is such a fun concept, and part of me really wants to do it. However, my series would be far more boring because I would not be doing it on a fucking ultimate Iron Man. Are you kidding me? I see him, like dealing with like getting these really rare drops and then later having to get rid of them because he doesn't have the space to keep them i'm like god no god no never in a million years i like how the biggest barrier to me doing an early game boss like scurrious right now is my prayer level and i'm just here like i'm gonna get my combat levels up delete the previous clip <laughs> alexa delete the previous clip <laughs> Fuck's sake, leave it in. Leave it in now. Uh, the, the the take two was going to be that I'm fighting sand crabs, I should add, and they don't drop bones. By the way, one thing I've learned from watching those settled videos is that right now for my account, it would be a great idea for me to safe spot lava dragons. However, I am intimidated by the wilderness, so I will not be doing that. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner of my chat, I have been doing this for a while. Not the most efficient training method at this level, I suppose. Uh, but on the up hand, I did get a lot of progress done in Dragon Quest Seven. Oh no, I don't have easy access to banks when I'm doing POH. Fucking idiot. Bring runes, dumbass. Also, I know, obviously, this isn't the most efficient method of training construction right now. 
But I have a bunch of normal planks from Temporos, and I figure I might as well use a bunch of them while the XP is still decent from them. Hey, I can now build easy stash units. Sweet, it's great because easy clue scrolls are all I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable. Build larder, delete larder, build larder, delete larder, build larder, delete larder, better, faster, stronger. I will leave some planks for like stash building and stuff. Don't worry. I'm not a fool, he says as he fucking teleports to the place where he already is. But also, I know I will be doing Temporos uh, plenty more times, so I don't have to worry too much about using up too many planks. I fucking love Temporos giving planks. Acquiring planks is one of my biggest gripes with construction. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this is so much fucking XP. <laughs> oh, this is a very satisfying training method. Elemental workshop, by the way. Man, Quest Helper made it so I did not have to use my brain at all. Like, I know Elemental Workshop 1 isn't the most difficult quest, but still. Literally nobody is going to care about this, but on my RuneScape spreadsheets I fixed up the coloration on the, on the, on the skills so that they're more easily noticeable at a glance. Before, I literally picked the colours from the skill capes, but the colours themselves were too muted. This time I chose my own colours in the spirit of the colours that are on the skill capes. Aren't I great? Why am I doing the elemental workshop quests, you may ask? Oh, I was nearby. <laughs> They're not gonna take long. I just do quests now, I just do them. It's wild. Oh, also this one gives smithing XP and I need all the fucking smithing XP I can get. Imagine doing quests for XP in the year of our lord 2024. You better have stuff. You better have stuff. It's empty. I've searched every crate. I'm being hoaxed. I'm being hoaxed right now. Where's the fucking camera? There's a camera somewhere. Oh, it's me. I'm the camera. There we go. Finally, I got a nice, big, wet cog. Elemental Workshop 2, by the way. Can I say that if I've already taken clips in the middle of it? Uh, 50 quest points, by the way. Hell yeah, dude. Now the FBI can't read my foot. Whoa! Okay, maybe they can. Wait, why did he still want to talk to me? What the fuck was that? Look at this, dude. Look at this. I'm a serial quest series completer, okay? I don't want to hear anything about Christian doesn't do quests, okay? I have completed multiple quest series. I'm a gamer. So I was recording the weekly waypoint at the time, so I didn't take a clip. Even though I could have, I just always forget to when I'm doing that. But... If you would like to direct your attention to the bottom right of a skill pane, I am now at a thousand total level. Hell yeah, dude. You know that thing I do sometimes where I've been doing it the same way for years and I just assume that at some point I looked it up and found out it was the best way to do it? And then I look it up and I realise I've been doing it wrong for years? Yeah, I've been smelting in Falador this entire time. What the fuck? Smithing is goddamn torture. The amount of time it takes to get the coal to make these goddamn bars and then the 50 XP per bar. Come on, man. Apparently, you can use a sapphire as a lens in the bullseye lantern. Is that true? It does seem to be true. And now if I light this, which I got to do in Falador for a medium Falador achievement, I'll finally have a fucking light source. I don't know if it goes out or not. I always forget how light sources work in this goddamn game. No, I fucking for I forgot to pick up the... Forgot to pick up the swamp tar. Oh, I don't have swamp tar. I have swamp paste. Oh, it's different. Why is it different? Why? 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 I have never done this before. They must have simplified this for RS3. All right. And then I use you to get that out. Tell me it doesn't have to be empty first. You put some oil in the lantern. <gasps> Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Huge for the account! I was told this would get me a diary completion, it did not, so I'm guessing it needs to be a normal lens in the lantern. I will do that another day. Alright. I look very fashionable. <laughs> I don't need to be wearing my Veracama, let's get that out of here. What do I wish for? That is a very good question. You know what? I wish for smithing XP, good god. Oh heck, look at that, I'm finally down in Lumbridge Caves. And I can fucking see. Oh my god, Juna! <gasps> Look at baby Juna! She's just a little snake! 
Sorry, I'm used to RuneScape 3 where she's this massive fucking doorway snake. Here, she's just a cute little snake. Oh my god, that's adorable. You know what though? Her talking model is kind of cursed. Hell yeah, dude. Tears of Guffix complete. Not the most difficult quest in the world. Look at the little snake. Hey, my hunter's now level 11. <laughs> this is how I'm going to be training hunter. <laughs> No, of course, I will try and train it so I don't constantly waste this. I came running over here to see this crashed star and I fucking forgot I'm too low level to mine it until I get it down another tier, so I'm like, oh no, I'll just fucking fletch in the bank, why not? I want a baby mole of my own, but I don't want to have to kill giant mole to get it. Jagex, please just give me baby mole. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt mole. Ruby the Ugly, this guy is fucking mining the mole, no. Is that what the Ardune cape looks like in its final form? Because that looks fucking awesome. I want that. I mine pets, not star. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was just going to go do the fucking clue scroll that I got given from this mine, from his crash star. <laughs> and the next one's right here on the way. <laughs> I like the Krill Sutsaroff pet. I'm assuming that's what that is. Still never faced off against Krill Sutsaroff myself. One day I will play an account long enough to get into endgame bossing, I swear to you, on some form of this game. Is this fucking strange device luring me to dark wizards? What's happening here? <laughs> Okay, I sneezed myself up a casket. What's in it? A black wizard hat. Wow. Who the fuck is Nigel? Since when was there a Nigel in this graveyard? Oi, Nigel, who the fuck are you? Hey, who are you? I'm Nigel, it's my job to say about dead man. Okay, cool, good talk, Nigel. Go over the sty, oh my god. I'm wasting so much run energy. I'm just trying to finish the fucking Lumbridge easy diary and I'm getting so stressed. Are you serious? Is someone fucking cannoning my chickens? I'm just trying to get two eggs, my guy. Can I get two eggs without someone cannoning my chickens? Oh, there's more chickens over here. And more free spawning eggs. Okay. It's time for me to calm down a little bit. I'm in the wrong area for cow dairy milk. Fuck my goddamn asshole wide open. Alright, if I burn this, I'm going to sell my children. I don't have any children. I don't have anything to cook. What am I doing wrong? Hello? Um. Right. Um. Huh. How do I make a cake? I did it. I did the task. What? What? Bake some bread? What? Why did I think it was a cake? It's fine. It's so incredibly fine. Let's get the fuck back to Lumbridge Castle where I'll suck my own dick. Oh, the music stopped. Why did the music stop? <laughs> oh, I forgot to say something because I was being dubbing clad chat. Wait, does this one not have a fucking teleport to the cabbage field? Wow, rude. Alright, be proud of me everyone. I'm starting farming. I'm doing it. I'm gonna stop being stubborn. I'm gonna grow up. And I'm gonna engage with the content before me. Are you serious? Come on, man. I just fucking raked that shit. Oh, wait, why am I even doing this? I can't, <laughs> I can't plant these yet. Never mind. I was hoping I might be like really far through and then I might get a little bit more XP and then I'd be able to use the Taramin seeds, but no, because I don't have anything lower. What the fuck is that? God, my farming runs are gonna be so fucking inefficient because I don't have any of the teleporting things that it's recommended that I have to do this. So I'm just gonna be teleporting to the nearest normal teleport and running from there. No, it's north. North, you fool. <laughs> north, you fool! Go north! I'm gonna go level thieving because I'm gonna wanna pickpocket master farmers for seeds. Who would have thought crimes and farming went hand in hand, but here we are. Wait, so this entire marketplace is fucking guarded by dogs <laughs> they're just trained to watch people thieving and they just come and attack them what the fuck yes please never move woman yes you are aiding and abetting in crimes and you have no idea ah shit apparently there's a better place to do this at the east where there are no uh, no guard dogs so i don't have to kill the poor puppies hell yeah dude thieving I'm training thieving right now. I'm definitely not just taking stuff from this public house and throwing it on the floor <laughs> like a crazy person. I didn't realize you could fucking thieve strange fruit. That's huge. Oh wait, papaya fruit? That also gives run energy. I'm keeping the run energy fruits. This song is called The Forlorn Homestead. Is it forlorn because people keep stealing their fucking fruit? Literally scrumping right now. 
literally fucking scrumping right now, dude. Well, looks like there's no escape, Prison Pete. Looks like you and I have no choice other than to, you know... I mean, it's just you, me, and these balloon animals. I don't know what else there is to do in here, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'll go first. Okay. What is happening? What? Where's my inventory? Why is my chat box like this? What the fuck is happening? Um... This is kind of creepy. Why is there a giant X here? What? What? I just kicked a man to death because he was inconvenient to me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh, Bruma torch. <laughs> oh, another Bruma torch. After three videos of me complaining about light sources in this game and then finally making one for myself, I get back to back Bruma torches. And my only response is, huh, neat. Look, I don't get many comments, alright? I gotta write my own comments. My first nice! My first nice! Do you think it's safe to be storing a broom of torch next to all this dynamite in my bank? Ah, what could possibly go wrong? Um, okay, let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. What am I doing, what am I doing? I'm getting graceful. See? Look! The notes work! The notes work! My tomatoes died! Ah, oh, farming's a fun skill, isn't it? Hell yeah, look at that. I'm doing farming. I just realised this is going to show up in all my fucking farming screenshots. How embarrassing. We're off to kill some cockatrice. Apparently they can drop some mystic boots, the light variant of them. I'm hoping they do because I still have, like, no fucking magic armor, so it'd be nice to at least have the damn boots. What is this? Oh, look, it's walkscape again. Remember walkscape? I'm editing a RuneScape video right now and you have no idea how many times I take a clip of me like talking about what I'm going to do or my methodology behind what I'm doing and I'm like this will be important to the video and then future Christian <laughs> editing the video takes one look at the clip and goes shut the fuck up nobody cares cool I was I was editing but I got iron boots uh the climbing boots are better but yay first boots I guess oh my god stop hitting me please I have three left. I don't want to need food. Worrying? Who was worrying? Me? I never worry about inane things that could probably never happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey look, conveniently we picked up runes to teleport to Ardune. Well, Vanek wants me to kill vampires, so I have no fucking clue what to do about that particular conundrum. Okay, this guy just gave me a banana hat for some reason. I know I have limited space in my bank, but I- <laughs> okay, this is kind of cursed, but I do want to get these outfits, they're fun. I guess I could probably put them in my wardrobe or something when I get that. God damn. How many fucking tomatoes? <laughs> God's sake. I was like, oh, I forgot to bring a basket. Oh, it won't be a problem. It's a fucking problem. I know it'd be more efficient to just throw my produce away, but you know, I'm an iron man. I like to make use of what I grow. I can use this to protect oak trees or whatever. I really need to train prayer. <laughs> and I don't like any of the methods that are proposed. So we're going to see how basic reanimation does for us. 32 magic. And... I guess I have to kill it first. 286 prayer. Okay, that's not bad. Uh. Oh, that was weird. I'm smithing. You're smithing? I'm smithing right I now. I have memory skip. I see, I see. I realize rune light gives away what I'm doing if you click on my name. Training crafting at Edgeville. <clears throat> Fuck off, don't tell everyone. What if I'm doing something inefficient? Everyone's gonna know. What the fuck? I didn't get a double harpoon fish spawn. I thought I was always supposed to get a double harpoon fish spawn. Oh, there it is. Where the fuck have you been? Oh my god. <laughs> that fucking place is on fire. Okay, I'm doing the chaos altar thing. Don't ask me which route I took to get here because I'm grumpy about it. <laughs> it's so fucking inefficient. I hate prayer so goddamn much. I'm just gonna assume you're not gonna attack me. I'm just... Just gonna assume we're all friends here. Oh, look at that we are. How lovely. Ah. It is a feral vampire. I've never actually had to kill these before. Ah, he's trying to drink my blood. What the fuck? Also, could I stop getting Slayer tasks for, for monsters that don't drop bones? Literally the reason I'm doing Slayer right now is to try and train prayer while I do it. <laughs> the Slayer task sucks. No pun intended. So... I really hope you don't watch this series because I'm an Iron Man. Because I think I'm about to de-iron. Because 
I really want to do bossing and like end game PVM in this game and I keep hitting that prayer wall and I keep hitting so many Iron Man walls and I am just losing steam. As I mentioned at the start of this series, I really enjoy being an Iron Man in RuneScape 3 because of that game's difficulty and microtransactions, but in old school it's a little bit different. It's a lot harder as an Iron Man in old school, and I've never really just played old school as is, and there's no microtransactions to avoid in old school either. What I will say is I don't intend to ever buy upgrades on the account. I really like the idea of gaining your own upgrades, but the restrictions that come from being an Iron Man just aren't worth it to me, so I might just play the game my own way in that regard. The main issue with changing the account name is that this is still my Iron account on RS3, this is still my main account, so... <laughs> so like, I don't know man, <laughs> what do I call this guy? It's kinda plain, just Critigri YT, like Critigri YouTube, but it makes a lot of sense because everything this account has done has been on YouTube in both RuneScape 3 and Old School RuneScape. So, I think I'm gonna stop overthinking things and change to Critigri YT. I think that's what it's gonna be. I have to wait a week before I can de iron. That's f that's so annoying. I took all this time to fucking realize I wanted to de iron. Let alone fucking. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll do iron things for another week. <laughs> By the way, I'm slightly worried that calling myself Critigri YT will, like, single me out in PvP context, because someone will be like, Ooh, if I PK this guy, I might end up in his video or something. But hopefully, uh, hopefully the benefits outweigh that. Hopefully, someone will click on my name and go, oh, I wonder what that guy's YouTube channel is like. Remember the old school RuneScape episode called The Worst NPC in RuneScape? Yeah, this is me trying to get a thumbnail for that video, and he is not improving his reputation by being this way. My guy, stand the fuck still. Hello, welcome to part 9 of my YouTube Let's Play. Today we're gonna be playing X Marks the Spot, the first in the Corin quest series for old school- Hello there. Hello Veos, what brings you to Lumbridge? I apparently know who this guy is. Who the fuck is Veos? He's the guy who takes us to car and okay. Sorry, I immediately forgot who you were, my dude. There's a wizard. He looks kind of puny. Yeah, he's a fucking wizard. You don't need to be muscly to be a wizard. Although well, that would be pretty cool. Has anyone ever done that? Like a, <laughs> like a really fucking ripped <laughs> wizard and someone's like, dude, why are you so ripped? And he's just like, I don't know. It's a hobby. Okay, why do I have- Why do I have two of you? <laughs> What's going on here? <gasps> I dig up an ancient casket. As I do, I hear a faint whispering. You can't make up what it says, though. You try to listen a little bit closer, it says... You just lost the game. Oh, fuck's sake, man. Hello, Vales. How's the treasure hunt going? I found a treasure! Excellent! I'll take it off your hands now. Dude, I did all the fucking work. Not cool. Brilliant. This is just what I was looking for. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. So what is this treasure anyway? Oh, uh, nothing important. Just something that might be of use to me back in Great Corrent. If you say so. Anyway, as promised, a reward for you. I got... 200 coins. Oh, and it would have given me a beginner clue scroll, except I've already fucking got one. God damn it. Wow, 300 XP and a level 57 skill. Thank you so much. What a worthwhile quest. Hello again, Critigri. What can I do for you? Um, have you got any quests for me? As a matter of fact, Critigri, I do. I, I've just changed my name to Critigri YT. And it's bugging me. <laughs> because I read, as a matter of fact, Critigri YT, I do. It's, it's, oh no, it's bugging me. We might change it again in a month. A great adventure from afar. How may I help you? How may I help with my repertoire? Uh, can I ask you about Port Piscarillus? If it's Piscarillus information you seek, it's in my brain that you must speak. Oh, I had a feeling you were doing this. What is it at Port Piscarillus? Oh, you're certainly a chirpy woman. <laughs> I would never say that to anyone ever. What do you require, traveller? I deal in many things. Uh, can I ask you about Arceus? That, that's not how you pronounce it, but sure. For its power, we have gained, we have great knowledge on life and death. This knowledge could be yours as well. Arg. Uh, your quell and scroll glow, causing a seething pain to run through your hand and arm. Oh, what is the matter, journalist? I, I don't know. I must have caught my finger on the quill. Apologies, please continue. Uh, that's probably important. You're welcome. Spread the word of a great city with the knowledge you have gained. And perhaps be more careful with how you hold your scroll in the future. 
Oh shit, he totally did that to me. That's fucked up. What do you have to trade? This is a really great little introduction quest. Um, I, again, I really haven't done much Corrin stuff yet, and this is the kind of quest that I was hoping existed, because I haven't even seen Lava King. The rewards able to be reaped in our city are nothing to be scoffed at. I mean, I've literally never heard of this blast mine. I know what voice I'm giving you. Oh, okay, I guess the game has other ideas, they've put an accent on you. What are you looking for, my love? It ain't all pretty here, but if you help our soldiers tackle some organised crime, you'll soon find that the spores of war are grand. Cool. Thanks for your help. That's alright, Petal, you go and have fun. A lovely lady. Our personal kitchens and farming patches are lovely. That being said, the real gems of Fesidius and a vinery and Tithe Farm. Both are world class. As you drop down final information on Hesidius, you hear a mysterious voice whisper in your ear. You like men. Whoa. Oh, I've heard that one before. I've gathered information from all the cities. I could hear a voice in my head as if it whispered in my ear to return to you and to, to kiss men. Yes, I heard it too. <laughs> It was very persuasive. I'm certainly glad you're able to assist once again. My client will be most pleased. My client requires another simple task. They assure me that it will be the last. Take this orb. You must activate it beside the dark altar north of Arceus. Can I ask why I would do that? It's best you don't. Well, can't argue with that. I'll return when I'm done. I am, of course, the hapless adventurer doing evil shit for quest points. Alright, I'm sure there's going to be no consequences for my actions here. Ah! The orb shatters after being held in the air. You hear a voice whisper in your ear. Return to Veos. My thanks. Kisses. Veos, enough is enough. I've suffered for enough. Exploding orbs and burning quills? Critigri? What are you talking about? You know darn well what I'm talking about. Critigri, I haven't spoken with you since bringing you to Corinth. I have no idea what you're on the- ah! Veos, this isn't funny anymore. Are you alright? What the fuck? Indeed you have. Uh. Veos? You have done well, for that you have my thanks. Who are you? What have you done with Veos? You need not fear for him. I will ensure no harm comes his way. Sorry if I don't trust people with glowing red eyes. Who I am? Well, that is of no importance. I have a right to know. Knowledge can be a curse. Sometimes it is better to remain unaware. Now, time to release this mind back to consciousness. Don't worry, I'll make sure he rewards you. After all, you've been very useful to me. Hooray! Current castle teleport. Caradest's memoirs. Aw, oh, look at all these unlocks. Oh, another thing I'm looking forward to doing when I'm not an iron is getting more into clue scrolls. Because I'm starting to like them. It's taken a long time, but I'm starting to like them. Um, with the aid of like rune light or whatever. But... The worst part is sourcing the actual equipment, which of course will be fine when I've got everything built up and stashed, but starting out it sucks. Loser says what? What? <laughs> oh, clearly I'm not a loser. Yeah, 24 mind runes. That's what I'm talking about, dude. What's wrong now? I need 10 nails. Ah! One day I'm going to learn to read game messages and it's going to revolutionize this game for me. Yay. Search loot. Alright, I've just done my quest log spreadsheet for RuneScape 3, and it's put me in the mood for some questing. But not in RuneScape 3. That's why we're doing Tree Gnome Village. I mean, what actually happened is I was looking at quests I could do, and I went, it's kind of funny that I still haven't done Tree Gnome Village on this account. And then I thought about all the alternate methods of transportation in RuneScape 3, and thought, it'd be a lot more helpful if I had Tree Gnome Village unlocked in Old School RuneScape, and then I... I tapped into this game instead. I've immediately gone the wrong way. <laughs> Welcome back to questing with Critigri. I don't think those stairs are supposed to be poking out of that building. So this whole de-ironing but still never buying upgrades or drops until I've at least gotten them is apparently exactly what bronze man mode is. So I guess this is going to be a bronze man mode account. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm shopping for the bronze man plugin, but I've just seen the spirit tree. I don't know if I've ever seen the RuneScape 2 spirit tree. <laughs> Look at that moustache, what a chad! Oh, here we go. <laughs> I've just... I've just unlocked everything. <laughs> oh no. I kind of like this plugin as well because obviously it does a notification telling you when you've unlocked a new item by getting it for the first time. It's just fun knowing when I've got an item on the account for the first time in general. Oh shit, I forgot to bring the logs. <laughs> okay, be right back. Uh oh. Oh. 
Uh, there was a bit of lag when I opened my bank then. It's because I just unlocked so many fucking items. Yeah, I'm gonna be seeing this item unlock notification for a while. I love how without knowing what bronze man mode is, I envisioned basically bronze man mode like down to a T. And not only that, but there is a plugin for it. That is so cool. Woo, murders. We did murders. Hell yeah, I love war. You can't stop me, I'm taking you up. No, I won't get out of here, I'm taking you up. By the way, I know I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a bronze man now. I am still a group Iron Man for another five or six days. <laughs> I am very excited for that restriction to be lifted. Ow, what the fuck? Do I have to kill this guy? This wasn't in the fucking quest text. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can do that. I would love to be arrested, but I'm in the middle of fighting for my life. Do you mind? All right, I've got the orbs of protection. All right, I'll come quietly. There we go. I think I've done my time. So does that mean I can just follow this guy through the maze every time now? Because if so, I should have done this for waterfall quest. That would have saved some time. Baller and I have returned. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm sure it's very important. We're now talking about tuna. Um, tuna. You like tuna. Enjoy the tuna. This is like back in the day when I would quest- Wait, I thought I'd- I thought I'd kill a black demon at some point. What? Oh, I was looking at the grand tree. No wonder I forgot to bring logs. <laughs> no wonder I was surprised. Oh, anyway. I've got a gnome amulet. <laughs> What's that for? Hey, it's got decent stats, I guess. Okay, we should do the grand tree though, right? Is that available now? Um... Where do you start the Grand Tree? That is the quest I set out to do, I just... I just was like, I don't know where it is, and I saw this, and I was like, ah, there it is. The Grand Tree. Oh, hell yeah, look at this. Oh my god. That is... So nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, I am glad I did Tree Gnome Stronghold. Oh, it doesn't feel like talking though. Is it like a one-way thing? It might be a one-way thing. I mean, really, that was worth doing just to get here a little bit faster. <laughs> Probably would have taken the same amount of time to just walk here without doing the quest. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the fucking <laughs> beheaded thing. <laughs> yeah, they're still going, by the way. The mage starts to speak, but all you hear is blah, 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 blah. Brother, ain't that a fucking truth? Me at work. <laughs> Me in life. Turned King Nardole. Narnode. Oh god. Doctor Who has corrupted every facet of my being. Oh my god, that's great as well because I have this cloak. So I could just teleport here, get escorted through the maze, and teleport to any of these places. That's actually huge. Ah, that... <laughs> that man frightened me. Wee. Well, I think that went well. Oh shit, I just realised the item unlocked... Uh, the item unlock notifications have finally disappeared. Sweet. <laughs> oh, good. I can now trade these twigs on the Grand Exchange. Thank fuck. Huge unlock. You know what? From now on, I want you to screenshot new unlocks. <laughs> I love fucking incidental screenshots and then looking through them later. Oh, that's not a black demon. That's just Glau. Glau? Oh, there he is. There's our good friend, the black demon. All right. Oh hey, the quest, the quest helper actually marks the spot, thank fuck. I wonder if he's intended to be safe spotted, like, in the quest design. This sure is intense boss fight music. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm facing off against a, like, level 147 black demon. 172. Perish. Perish, ye heathen. I guess, uh, I guess you're not supposed to safe spot him because the dialogue is... Traveller, you've been wounded! Meanwhile, I haven't lost a single hit point. <laughs> oh, that guy's safe spotting journey is gonna take a lot longer. He does not have the best magic level or gear. <laughs> Get a load of that guy. He hasn't got good magic gear, says the guy in a blue wizard hat, a blue robe top, and no robe bottom. Hurrah! Five quest points. Holy shit. Oh my god. The XP! I had no idea. Tell me where he lives, I'll do a job. Fabulous. Dad lives in the southeast of Varric, west of Aubrey's rune shop. So he's, he's just fucking over there. Why couldn't you do it then? Get out of here, rotten carpet, with a fucking rat on it. Yeah, where are you gonna go now? Get out of here, you broken stool. 
Yala, what have you been doing to this thing? One thing I have noticed, by the way, is I can see all the items I've unlocked here. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Rift's closed 42. Yeah, it's like a thing, so whenever I first open it, it shows me that. That's everything. Thank you so much, young man. Trot off back to my boy Marlo now. He'll have something for you. Okay, I'll head back to Marlo. I'm lazy. Lol. <laughs> Look at that. I'm a few steps closer. Hooray. Stuff. Wait. Quest complete? Hello? Is the... Is the quest not complete? I didn't get a quest complete screen. I guess you don't for mini quests. Okay. I just had a thought as well. Um... When it comes to items on the ground, I feel like I shouldn't pick them up in bronze man mode. I feel like that's not a thing I should do. This is character growth. I'm doing it. I'm blast furnacing. Look at me, I'm doing it. I'm doing blast furnace. Oh my god, I've already used a K. Holy shit, this is why I don't like blast furnace. Oh no, I'm out of run energy. <gasps> I didn't even think about that. That sucks. Freaking get him, get the bars. I'm floundering. Okay, um, um, um. Um, um, strange fruits. Strange fruits. Where are my strange fruits? I'm panicking. I'm floundering. I'm acting like a fool. Am I being an idiot? Should I just overflow it with coal and mithril and then, like, do an inventory of coal and then a few inventories of mithril? Is that how I should be doing it? Okay, this isn't quite as pricey as I thought it was after doing, like, one inventory. So, I'm not quite as upset about Blast Furnace as I used to be. Go figure, the thing that I thought was an issue in this game is not really an issue in this game. Who could have seen this coming? I don't have anything suitable. Oh, fuck, I'm... Oh, my God. <laughs> it would help if I wasn't an idiot. And then turn on run energy. <laughs> all right. That's all my mithril. Or all my coal, I guess. I did it. Uh, I should get the... I should take the money. Stop working, everyone. I'm telling you all to stop working. Give me my money back. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. All right. At the end of my little blast furnace expedition, we have 282 mithril bars, which is not bad at all. I'll tell you what, it's better than 141 mithril bars. I am a fool. I just teleported somewhere I've never been before and then walked away. <laughs> That's why I don't play hardcore Iron Man. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of not being able to play hardcore Iron Man... I just left clicked this man. Luckily, it seems like that's how you start this quest, but fuck that made me panic. Wait. Do not attack. What the? You can talk? Do. Do not. Fly. Fight. You don't want to fight me. Want. No. Need. Your help. Oh fuck, I feel bad for all the giants I've killed now. Actually, that's none on this account. I'm a good boy. I must be dreaming. Giants can't talk. Please. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll help you out, but first you need to tell me your name. If you even have one. Kovac. Kovac. Alright then, my name is Kritigri. So, Kovac, what do you need help with? Please. Follow in. Oh, he's a bottom. I've never seen this place before. Despite looking like it has the aesthetic of 2007 era RuneScape, it's suspiciously high def. Did you build this? No. Kovac ex Ancestor Build. Giants built this place? Yes. Long ago. How? Giants don't build, do they? I thought they were brutes. Fucking racist dude. Okay, I'll help, but first you need to tell me what this place was used for. Make well <clears throat> weapons. Giants made weapons here? That's incredible. But why do you want to make weapons? Most giants I've come across already have weapons. Make giants remember. Remember what? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> get your hammer and fix that wheel! Alright, I do need to go and get uh, items. There's a big chest here. Am I allowed to use it immediately? Yes, Pog. Not my finest work, but I think it'll do. Hmm. Kovac agree. Fuck you, Kovac. I tried my best. Polishing sword impotent. Important. All right, Kovac. I see what you're saying, but don't do it too often or you go blind. As You've already lost one eye, dude. Clearly you do this too much. Well, that required a bit of elbow grease. It should be good to go now. Thank you, small one. Didn't want to try and help me? Kovac did not know how. Kovac be beginning to understand. It's okay, buddy. You don't have to worry about spelling when you're speaking out loud. We grind sword against stone. Make sword sharp. So we use it when making swords. Yes. You guys like your swords, don't you? 
Yes, I think this has seen better days. What was it? Hmm. Big hammer. Right, and what did it do? Hit things. Very perceptive, Kovac. Let me take a look and see if I can fix it. Wow, I'm such a fucking asshole. <laughs> Kovac, think Kovac, figure it out. Go on. Trip hammer, power by water. Water spin wheel and raise hammer. Hammer fall and crump sword into shape. That makes sense. Quite resourceful for giants to make something water-powered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, dude, we fucking rule. Kovac know what say, but sometime hard say proper, properly. That's alright, we'll figure it out together. Kovac agree. Ready to make sword? Yes, I'm itching to get started. Kovac get few things ready first, then we can start. Hell yeah, Kovac. Look, there's already other people helping! Kovac, you, f you found friends! Where did you find these people? While you do that, Kovac, think about next thing we need to do. Kovac, it's okay, you don't need to tell me all this, I've got rune light. Rune light will tell me what to do. So you can just add old weapons to the crucible as well, that's pretty cool. Remember, we need a flat broadsword. Okay, so how do I about fucking do that? Kovac, remember being- <laughs> Kovac can speak better than I can. Okay. This is a little more complicated than I expected, but I'm sure in five minutes it'll be super duper easy for me. Uh, it looked like it completely fucking missed it, but okay. This is cool. This is fucking cool. I really like this. Oh, so I just dip it into the lava with my bare hands, do I? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? I love the fucking running animation with it. Like, oh god, it's so big. Looks like the sword is finished. I should take it to Kovac. Look what I made. <laughs> I love how I just held it aloft. Okay, Kovac. I think I finally finished the sword. Hmm. Let Kovac look. Pass the sword over to Kovac. He analyzes your work. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. That is definitely a sword. Well done, little one. Oh, thank you. I thought he was going to tell me I did shit. Great. So what do we do with it now? Kovac, take care of it. Out of curiosity, who is this first blade for? Kovac, friend. Obor. <laughs> Obor? Can't say I've heard of him. It's okay, Kritikri. I know who they are. They're a fucking boss that you're going to fight later. <laughs> I imagine if you've already, like, fought them, they're like, Obor? Oh, shit! <laughs> Kovac think Obor show other giants how strong our swords are, then every giant want one. That's a pretty clever marketing plan, I must admit. Kovac know what did he do sometime. Thank you for your help, Kritigri. You're free to use Foundry whenever you want. Hell yeah, dude. And level 54 smithing, not bad. Not bad. Making swords for giants. Because there are no ethical quandaries in old school RuneScape. Hmm, sword look good, hand over. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, what a weird looking sword. Especially for a giant. Making giants for swords. Wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, no, making swords for giants. <laughs> Never mind. As much as I would love to continue doing this, I can now make mithril arrowheads. And that is basically what I was working towards for the moment so that I could continue fletching. So... I'm in a little bit of a pickle because it would be a really good idea to um, continue this so that I could get like the smithing uniform, which would be amazing, but um, I also need fletching. <laughs> to be fair though, if it's just smithing speed, I know that's more XP per hour, but it's not exactly more like flat XP if you know what I mean. This doesn't actually seem like a huge priority. It's weird that the money you make in Giant's Foundry is just deposited directly to your account. But yeah, I basically made my money from Blast Furnace back from this as well, which is really encouraging. If I just hit my Mithril ore with a hammer hard enough, surely I can turn it into a bar and then into arrowheads, right? We don't need to go through this whole wasting coal business, do we? I just need to level my strength. Oh. Hey look, someone's doing nightmare mode. <laughs> Enjoy your seagull splashing. Oh, I forgot to bring teleport runes to leave. <laughs> I'm favoring a bunch of arrow shafts. I'm favoring a bunch of arrow shafts. I'm favoring a bunch of arrow shafts. Last time for some reason I said they were shards, but they are not, they are called arrow shafts, so next time I'll call them arrow shafts. I just want to have so much <laughs> What? 
<laughs> Where was that going? I'm just gonna sit here and feather lots of arrow shafts. Do not mind me, I'm just gonna sit here and feather my shaft. That sounded really dirty and gross. I'm sorry it sounded that way. I am going so off key, off note, off beat, and every way. Alright, time for the main goddamn event. Let's tip these goddamn arrows. 112 XP per. Probably only gonna get me like a level and a half. God damn. Can't wait to be the iron. The item you are trying to put down is considered valuable. Are you absolutely sure you want to do that? <laughs> no, I'm not, sorry. I should probably not waste my time and just stick to getting incidental fletching levels in Wintertop, but despite it being incredible for fire making XP, it's not that great for fletching or woodcutting XP. Is this the most amount of content any one YouTuber has put out regarding standing at a bank and fletching arrows? Probably. That's why you watch me though, right? I can now make the toxic blowpipe. Huh. I don't know what that is, but sure. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You can make room light pink. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> this is super distracting. I'm changing it back. <laughs> okay, we're going with uh, a very, very, very pale shade of purple. I guess lilac? Is this lilac? We're going with lilac. This is lilac light. I think my clan chat were talking about being able to change the colour of the entire client like it's some kind of plugin you can download, but I'm not going to do that because I think that will be too distracting. As it is, I don't want you to think about the black bar at the top of this video, but um, if I made it pink you would absolutely be thinking about it. Oh good! <laughs> God, there's something vaguely nightmarish about this place. Like, this has such a dreamlike quality to it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you have one of those dreams where you're stuck at work. And then you wake up and you're like, why was I dreaming about work with this like weird dark undertone to it? Oh damn, I got two. I didn't realize you could get two. Give me nuggies. Wow, no nuggies. I feel betrayed. See, this is why I'm excited to be a bronze man and not just a full on vanilla account because 958k for a dragon pickaxe? Eh, that's not that much. I could just buy that if I saved up a little bit, but that would be boring. I want to earn my own and then it would be like a big serotonin hit and a huge upgrade for the account moment. That's why we're going bronze. I'm over here playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Every time you see me in Motherload Mine, just assume I'm playing another game or editing a video. Hey, remember when I said that I'm always multitasking when I'm in Motherload Mine? Well, I'm making a spreadsheet of all of my Pokemon Legends Arceus Pokemon. Why? <sighs> I've given up asking. Alright, Prospector Percy, if that is your real name. You know what it is. You know what I'm here for. I would like to buy one Prospector jacket from you, please, to finish my Prospector set. I like how normally the RuneScape player silhouette is just a straight line, but with this one, clearly they've, like, abbed him out a bit. <laughs> like, look, hang on, if I take this off, <laughs> my fucking body type changes. That's hilarious. 